Hi again. So for question two, um, we have like another uh, three set of uh, circuits and we have to go over the ideal diode model, battery model and battery pull resistance model. Uh, and in this case, uh, I'll go over just the battery pull resistance model because as you see, it will be just like the more complicated version of the circuits. Okay. So let's get started. For circuit A, uh, one thing, one quick analysis that we can do here is that we have this current I that's flowing downwards across 1k ohm resistor and all the voltage that we have uh, on these terminals of the diodes, right, they are positive. So it makes sense that if they are conducting, current would flow in direction to the lowest potential minus 5 volts, right? So we would have like current flowing here, here, and here, right? But what's the problem if all the diodes are on? The problem is that we would probably have some current here flowing through this diode tree. And this current, it would go, part of the current would go directly here to the ground, minus 5. And part of the current would go to the 5 volts here, because 5 is less than 8 volts. So we would have a current flowing in this direction. And same thing for a current flowing in this direction. Right? And even if we consider the, the, the voltage drop from the battery model, like if we had a battery for each one of those resistors, for, for each one of those diodes, eventually we would have something that based on the current drop, uh, the voltage drop across the resistor of the diode and the battery from the, the model, it would basically uh, allow us to have like an effective voltage here that would be something less than 8 volts and something less than 5 volts and something less than 2 volts, right? But they would be like kind of uh, similar uh, values, okay? And in that case, we still are going to get those currents in red that I just dropped. So what's the problem with those currents? The problem is that those currents, they would flow in... Um, in the reverse direction for di diode 1 and diode 2. So this means that in this particular circuit, diode 1 and diode 2 are off, so we don't have them connected here. Okay? So in, in this case, we just have like a simplified version of this, uh, of this circuit here, where if you want, we can just uh, redraw a voltage source here, right? So they are all connected. Sorry, let me, instead of drawing this way, let me redraw the entire circuit. So we have a voltage here. Then we have the, the model for the diode, so battery plus resistance. So let me put a battery here, plus a resistance. And then the diode, just to remember that it's there. And that's our V0. Right. And then we go all the way down to the 1K resistor, another battery, another voltage source here. And then you can say here we have the ground. Okay. So this is 0 0.7. This is 20 ohms. This is 1K ohm. This is minus 5 volts. <coughs> and this is 8 volts. Right. So we can say we have a current flowing here, which is current I. Right, the same current that's flowing across this resistor. So if we apply KV, KVL here, we get minus 8 plus 0 0.7 plus I times 20 plus I times 1K plus minus 5 volts and that should be equals to 0 right so if we isolate i in this case we get i equals to so we have minus 8 minus 5 so it's 13 on the right hand side minus 0 0.7 the voltage uh, from the battery model of the diode and then we have 1k plus 20 ohms. So this gives us a current of 12.05 milliamperes.
right? Now to calculate V0, suppose we have here 8 volts, actually we have, so we start V0 at 0, at 8 volts, sorry, then we have a voltage drop from the battery model of the diode, right? Minus the voltage drop of the 20 ohm times I. So if we substitute these 12.05 milliamperes here, and then we calculate V0, this gives us 7.06 around that uh, volts. Okay? So in this case, uh, diode, diode 1 and 2 are off and diode 1 is on. Sorry, diode 3 is on. So this is diode 3. Okay? Uh, I'll go over, I will go, I'll quickly go over B here just to show you the, the diodes that are on or off and then I'll go over C and show you the entire results. So if you still have questions regarding this B here, I can help you in the office hours just to be a quick about the video and just show you the methodology itself, okay? So for for circuit B, okay, what happens is that we have two volts down here, right? Then we have 10, 12, and 8 here, okay? Then we also have D4 here, but D4, suppose we have a current flowing downwards as we have I here, this D4 is going to be on, right? So let's see what happens to uh, D3, D2, and D1. So D1 has the highest potential. So let's assume it is on, okay? Then and let's assume D1, D2, and D3 are on. So we would probably have a current that would be flowing from 12 to 8 in this direction here. right just by the case of D1 now if D3 is is also uh, on here then we would have also a current flowing in this direction here so for both that D1 and D3 on it basically implies that D2 here is off so D2 is off because those currents this one in this one they are not allowed to flow through the diode because it blocks current flowing in that direction so D2 is off now if D1 and D3 are on at the same time we would have a current flowing in this direction here because current will go from 12 to 10 volts right from the highest potential to the lowest potential but that's not allowed for D1 and D3 so in this case D1 is blocked so it's not conducting. D1 is also off. Now let's see if just D3 is on. So if D3 is on, we would probably get like a current that's flowing from the highest potential 10 to the lowest potential 2 flowing across this 1K resistor, right? So let's see, we would have a current flowing in this direction here. So in this case, it, it is okay to have a current flow in this direction passing through D3 and passing through D4 because both allow uh, current to flow in that direction, right? So in this circuit here, D3 and D4 are on and then D2 and D1 are off. So it's just a matter of remove this entire part here, so let me just simplify a little bit so you can just remove this part here as if it was like an open circuit here and there so they are just you can just remove that from the circuit and then you're just left with like a KVL around this loop here and then you just substitute the battery model for D3 and D4 and then you calculate I the same way as we did on, on part A okay now for part C let's analyze it like more thoroughly. So for part C we have 4 volts up here, 6 here and 2 here. And again let's assume that we have like the, the battery plus resistance model. So we would have like some current flowing uh, actually 
because we have 10 volts here, we would have a current flowing downwards here. So it would go from this 10 from to 2, 6, or 4. Okay? So the current here, I, it would be actually going, flowing upwards across this 5k ohm in, in, in physically, right? So what happens? Uh, if we have all of them on here, like D1, D2, and D3, we would have a current flowing in this direction here because it would go from 6 to 4. We would also have a current flowing in this direction here from 4 to 2. Right? If they are like all the diodes are on. So what's the problem here? The problem is that it's okay for this current here to flow through diode 1 but it's not okay to flow through this diode 2. Right? So this diode 2 is off. Now, if just D1 and D3 are on, you would have a current flowing in this direction here, right? Because we have like 4 volts here that would go uh, down to the 2 volts, right? So in this case, this current would be blocked by this diode 1 here. And then the only option left is that if we have D3 on, right? So D3 on it means that we have 10 volts here and then 2 volts here so we would have a current flowing in this direction it is okay to have that current flowing through that uh, diode 3 in this direction so indeed we only have D3 on so let me simplify the circuit again so the analysis would be performed as if this entire branch here is removed. Okay, so this we are left with a circuit that it's 10 volts. Then we have our resistor here. This is our V out. Then we have a diode here. We have the resistor, then we have the battery for the resistor another voltage source right and then here we can put the ground so let's say we have a current flowing this direction and I just want to emphasize that this so let me take the current on the other direction okay the same direction as I drawn in the circuit okay flowing this direction here from the from V naught to 10 volts okay so we can apply let me just put the values here so it's 10 to 0 0.7 20 and 5k right so let's do the analysis on this direction so we have minus 2 volts minus 0 0.7 plus 20 times I right plus 5k times I plus 10 volts and that's equals to 0 so this gives us an I that it's 10 right minus 10 plus 2 volts plus 0 0.7 divided by 5k plus 20 so this gives us a current that is minus 1.454 milliamperes and notice that the value of the current I here is negative so it means that actually the current is flowing in this direction and this direction is allowed to flow the current is allowed to pass through the diode here okay so indeed diode um, diode 3 is on okay so let's calculate V naught so let's say we start here at this node 
right and here we have v naught so v naught is equals to 2 minus 0 0.7 that's the voltage drop from the voltage source for the battery model of the diode minus the the voltage drop across the 20k resistor so it's minus 20 times i if we calculate this one here we get that v naught is equal to 2.72.729 volts okay and that's it for this problem